Tim, what's a holiday special without a little gift opening? How about this? Uh, it's not a holiday special, I would say. That's what I think. So I emailed myself, emailed myself. I mailed myself. I ordered some stuff e on. I emailed myself some physical product. <laughs> nice. Uh, the so time we're living in. Oh, I know, right? 2020, baby. <laughs> so on Black Friday, I actually went on to Fleet Farm and I ordered some fishing stuff. So here All right. we are. Oh, nice. Wrapped up. I figured we'd do a little gift opening for the Real AF TV holiday special. Ooh, Real AF TV Blue. Look at that, huh? Just so you know, I, I know what I ordered, but I don't know what I got, if that makes any sense. I'm going to need you to explain it because, because I just ordered stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's the just best way. Stuff. Why just not? Stuff. It's, hey, it's on sale. That's how I do most of my. That's how I started in the whole like fishing realm. Is like you just looking at stuff and you're like, you see something on sale. You I don't know exactly what this is, but it doesn't cost much, so let's give it a shot. Right. And <laughs> wait, you hear that one? Okay. Sounds like a par bait rattle trap. Okay, I, I could I because I ordered it. I know it's a rapala. I don't know exactly what I got. No, though. not Rappler, a rattle trap. A rattle trap? No, no, it's a rattle. Yep. Oh, it is a rattle. Oh. Also, just answer. so you know, this is real. This is real size. It is the size of my head. I bought a jerk bait. Yeah, dude. If you follow us on Instagram, reallyf.tv on Instagram, um, I have a, we posted a photo of me with a smaller bass and a jerk bait in its mouth. Um, I thought that's what I was getting. <laughs> <laughs> that bait was about this big. Um, well, you got the you got the tail dancer right there, right? Isn't, isn't that what it says, tail dancer, or is that just a jerk bait? Oh, hold on, I don't know if my autofocus is on. Let me change my autofocus to be on. Okay, yeah, here. Can you read that? Um, it I got. Says, can I move? This? It says it says down no, deep got, husky jerk. Down deep husky Oh, yeah, jerk. so that's the husky jerk. So that's oh. the, oh, that's yeah, the here. rappler's jerk bait. <laughs> uh, how about that? That's a little bit easier to read. There you go. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to make you read the damn little tag. So the, yeah. So the, the, the husky jerk is a jerk bait just like what you were expecting, except for the down okay. deep husky jerk has that big old bill, so you can, like, mainly uh, that's going to be used for, like, trolling and stuff. You can use it for casting, but because it goes so deep, like a lot of people use that for trolling, get it down deep and just let it run. Oh. But look at look at the top oh. of the Like this part that like yeah. I just saw right here, this right here. Yep. There it goes out of focus. There it comes yep. in. Okay. Yeah. So you're telling me I should have read Dives this when I was deep. actually ordering online. It probably would have told me that. Mm, maybe. I don't know if they list that kind of stuff where it says dives too, but Rapala puts it on the box of everything they make. It's a, it's a nice feature. Yeah. I like It was crazy because as you told me that, I looked down and there it was. 10 to 20 feet. Yeah. That's not what I was fishing with the bass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you can, you can still get it out there like if uh, I mean you can still cast that like if you're trying to get to the deep weed edge or whatever the husky jerk I mean that one's the the old school ones I believe are floating so I don't know if that one says on that same information on the top I don't know if it says that that's a suspending or not prov it or, it says prov nade n a g e P R O F dot N A G E. Uh, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that stuff is. What about what about that tag? Is that safe floating or sinking? This tag? This tag that I'm messing with. Does it right say here? floating? Okay. No. Sometimes no. it says floating or sinking. I want to say. Oh, that. hey! Look at it. this. I think there it is. Suspending. Oh, suspending. Rat. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. What so does that mean? So that'll just that'll just stop. 
when you're when you're fishing, when you stop, it just stops. It won't sink. It won't. It won't. That was backwards. It won't sink. It won't float. It'll just stay in the middle. <laughs> oh, okay. So like, you get it down to 10, 15 yep. feet, and it just sits there. Or yeah, dude, pull it down. Long cast because it's a, a when you're trying to get lower, like it, long cast just helps you can get it down to that depth and then work it there. But you could cast that out, reel it down to the deep water edge, and then just work it like you did that jerk bait in the Instagram photo, except for you're fishing in. Huh. Okay. How do you get it? But okay, once you get it down there, so how do you get it down there? Reel the hell out of it? I don't even know how to dive it. Yeah, that bill, that bill does all the work. You just have to reel like you normally would, but that bill does all the work. That'll get you down there. That's why and, it's such a big bill. Okay. And then it just suspends itself somewhere between 10 and 20 feet? Well, it'll it'll reel down like the, the 10 to 20 feet part. Um, really, it, it has variables between like your line diameter and what line you're like using between like monofilament that floats or fluorocarbon that sinks and then the thinner line will help you get down lower like if you had high test line like if you were using like eight pound test versus like 15 pound test it'll okay. get down deeper on eight pound tests oh holy shit dude yeah what am i fishing yeah, and like thing now because <laughs> oh floats. sorry keep going oh no a monofilament floats so like if you're using mono, it's you're not going to get it as down down as far as like if you're using fluorocarbon that sinks. Oh. Or okay. there's also like people troll with lead core where the it's so it's what it sounds like the line has a lead core, and then you can get the shit down way deeper than what the lure even says. What the hell? Okay. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> I've never heard strictly, of that. That's strictly trolling stuff. You can't you can't cast. A lead core. I mean, maybe you could. I never tried. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So then uh, I was thinking I was getting something to fish bass with that I could just toss out there and work like I did that one time when yeah, we went dude, out for Instagram. That, you but... can catch bass with that. That's that's a that's a this yeah. Thing. You can catch bass with that. Bass will eat that for sure. But that's a that's a real famous walleye lure too. The husky jerk is a uh, big time. Like that's why the wall. That's what that mainly is used for. Like, you can still use it for bass fishing, but, like, if you, I would say, like, nine out of ten people, like, if you saw them coming in to buy that deep dive and husky jerk and you asked them what they're targeting, they're going to tell you walleye. Huh. Well, love me some walleye, so, hopefully. Awesome. Yeah. That's crazy. And I think that might be, that might be too, like, just regional. Like, in Minnesota, you're going to get that answer. Down south, right, they probably right. use, you know, the things for bass. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, man. And sorry, guys, for the audio listeners. I um, I should explain this a little bit more um, in depth of what we're doing uh, because this is primarily a video for the YouTube channel. That's where we're going to put this chunk up. It, I'm not saying the whole holiday special is going to be video, but we are definitely going to put this chunk, chunk up in video. So I got myself, oh, I don't know, Tim, how long is this thing? Nine inches? 12, 10? I uh, know. <laughs> uh, five and three quarters, six inches. That should be on the box too. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five and a half. Five and a half. There you go. Yep. I, was, okay. I was a quarter inch off. Five and three quarters. Inch okay, so it's a five and a half. <laughs> Uh, but that's only that's measuring the husky jerk itself, not from the bill not to the, the end. bill. Okay, so it's got another two and a half inch yeah. bill on it. Yeah, that's, that's probably yeah, that's probably like eight inches. Okay, three hooks. That's what she said. <laughs> three hooks. Three. What are these? What kind of hook is this called? Because it's got three hooks on the hook. Treble. Treble hook. Okay. Treble hooks. So yeah. I got three treble and the bigger, hooks on here. The bigger, you know, you're, oh, bigger. go ahead. You know you're using a bigger jerkbait when you got the three hooks. If it gets a little oh. bit smaller, you, they only have two. Oh, okay, cool. So yeah, it's a it's a five and a half. Just the bait probably got a two and a half, three inch lip on it to make it deep dive. Uh, yep. As Tim said, got three treble hooks on it. One near the front, almost one in the middle, and then one on the tail. 
purple and chartreuse nose. It's got purple down the back, chartreuse nose, white belly. Go over to YouTube. Just yep. look up Real AF TV on YouTube. You'll be able to see the whole thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, during a gift opening, you got to do video. So also sorry for the audio quality audio listeners. This is going to be a different sound. Eh, whatever. Eh, okay. Whatever. Let's go to the next one. Just a plain old happy holidays bag. Same bag. Same size. Um, North happy land. Holidays. <laughs> happy holidays. <laughs> May oh, the man, merry bells keep ringing. Juice. Oh, what? Juice? Oh. Keep yeah, ringing. well, it just feels like I should have just like a whiskey neat. Happy holidays. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Seriously. Okay. <laughs> So, so I got some Northland tackle here. Yeah. Uh, got to go ice fishing. Okay. I thought that these were going to be spoons, like the size of a spoon. <laughs> and I got myself, <laughs> oh, I don't know. What is this? Half inch, maybe? <laughs> yeah, they're little. They're very small. Yeah, I thought are, they were spoon are... size. Yeah, no, every, they're all called spoons, but those are basically like ice fishing jigs. Oh, you got okay. the bucktail is your the long one. I know that spoon. How, or the the buckshot, right? Oh yeah, they both the say buckshot, buckshot spoon on them. Both say buckshot spoon. I don't know the one that's like shaped different. Okay, so let the, me get the into the buckshot it. with the red. Oh, that long one I know, but that other one I don't know the okay. shape. So I got a buckshot rattle spoon. That could just be the hook in the package. What am I doing? <laughs> oh look, this one's exclusive. Probably the rattle. Exclusive. It's shaking. Exclusive buckshot rattle. <laughs> exclusive rattle. I don't rattle. Also, go I'm over trying. To, go to the YouTube You're channel. Not making to, any noises. <laughs> go to the YouTube channel to see my sweet holiday sweater. I'm definitely wearing a winter ugly Christmas sweater. Sorry, Tim. I didn't mean to just put you on the spot. Like, nice right, sweater uh, you don't have. A black hood. Very festive. Classic. Okay, so here's the buckshot rattle. I don't hear it. Nothing. Maybe I need to hold it. I mean, that's the rattle one? Yeah, it says it is. It has a rattle in it. I know. You can see the rattle right there. I don't know. Yeah, it's got one in there. This one, but it's so small. It's so, um, I thought it was the size of a perch, and it's more like about it? two inches, probably. It's green, like a perch, kind of, or something like that. Uh, and it says yeah, UV. Like What's a, this UV? What's this? How come this yeah, one like is a, different from the other one with this giant UV on it? Um, they they have paint that's like UV, like reactive, like it it it, like absorbs the UV light better. Like the fish can see that UV light really well. Oh, really? Holy yeah, they, I forget how it works. They like they like C and UV or whatever. Oh yeah, here it it's, is. It's different. So like it helps them. It helps them hone in. It. Visually, it helps a fish hone in on it. Yeah. Huh. Yep. Interesting. Oh yeah, look yeah. at that. and that's basically both. Both of what you got there are basically. I said both uh, both of what you got there are basically like uh, ice fishing jigs. Oh, really? Okay. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. We're going into ice yeah. fishing season, yeah. so. No. Well, yeah, you could you could use them in the summertime, like. Okay. They work, but they're they're like panfish jigs in the in the summertime, but in the in the winter, like people people catch everything on them, like walleyes and stuff, but nobody really uses those in the summer. Oh. Okay. But I think, like I, I use, I use some, I use some jig and spoons, some smaller ones for panfish and some little bit bigger ones for like bass and stuff, okay. on certain days. But I, those are ice fishing jigs, really. <laughs> okay, I mean, but all you, you basically just like most people just put some live bait. They tip the, the treble hooks with some live bait, or. They have a lot of artificials these days that mimic live bait, like gulp or whatever, and you just throw whatever you want on there and then jigger up and down for a while. Really? 
Yeah, I don't know. That that shape is unfamiliar to me. Okay, I don't know yeah, if that's it's actually... got like a with like a winged one. Uh, you know, I don't I don't know. I'll try to read the package a little bit, but like, yeah, these so they both have the little red treble hook on them, but this one's actually like red, right? Like it's a red and yeah. black kind of jig, I guess. Like yeah, yeah. and it's a red and black and shiny, but it's got these wings on it almost like a skate or a uh, flounder, you know, some kind of flat bottom fish from the ocean. Yeah, I wonder if that's made to – some of those have a little bit of, like, a wing on them to make them just, like, dance a little bit more. But that looks so vertical that I don't really know how that works. But it's definitely the same spoon. That one just has those wings. Oh, yeah. I don't know. No, they are. They, they're, like, they're almost identical with that this one just has the wing shape to it. I mean, when you hold them up yeah. next to each other, they're and, – and they both have the rattle in them. Did you see that? See? Yep, I see that. Yeah. Yeah, see how So you got there. you got one, you know, like one's the the base model with like the outdoor paint and the other one's the red chrome with the spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So you do put bait on this still though. Yeah, well when you're ice fishing like people yeah, they tip like they'll put like a minnow head on there plus some night crawlers or whatever. Ice fishing is is a weird situation like where if you did that same stuff in the summertime yeah you won't have that good of luck but you just put a ton of live bait on a jig and i don't know if it's cold and they're more desperate that they'll just come and eat it but huh it's like a whole different world yeah no <laughs> like i would never sure. i would never tip, yeah i would never tip a tiny treble hook with a bunch of live bait in the summer like that <laughs> But that might be per personal preference too, I guess. I just don't ice fish like I regular fish. It's it's weird. Sure, sure. Well, hopefully, we'll be able to get somebody on in January with the ice fishing here after this holiday special, and we'll try to get somebody on the podcast who can talk about it better than me and you because we're going to be in ice fishing season, and I don't know. I want to talk yeah, about it. I don't, it know, I don't know anything. I don't about know it. about ice fishing, but I'm definitely about to get into it, and I'm hoping that we can get some of that stuff on video and uh, we yeah. can all learn together exactly that's the whole point of real af tv man and that's not the point of the holiday special but hey we got some learning done let's uh yeah so... i know what they are for sure like i have i have the buckshot jigs like i've i've used them before i have ice fished just I don't have a house or anything else, so I'm at the right. mercy of like going with whoever has it set up already. Right, yeah. Yep. Same here. Same here. We'll we'll have to uh get those ice fishing experiences on the podcast. But that's the gift opening section. I only bought the three lures, so uh I guess we can just go back hey. to the back to the old regular part of the special. <laughs> <laughs>